Hello, I'm Maurice Dimba. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a DWG profile in AutoCAD and then import the same profile created into Tecla Structures Profile Catalog. Welcome to this tutorial. Once again, I'm Maurice Dimba. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and uh, let's go straight and get started. For now, I'll follow my my AutoCAD format where I, I drew my a DWG profile. Now I'll go straight away and open my AutoCAD right there. This is my profile I did in AutoCAD and to create this is very simple. You just create one line with this shape of a box. Yeah, I, I unish it. Then uh, you offset. I used a 3mm thick and uh, I, uh, just offset with the 3mm. And make sure one thing, make sure all your lines are uh, closed. This, I'll just zoom close and you'll see nothing, all joy, all lines are connecting com uh, absolutely. So the moment all the lines are closed, our profile is complete. And please note that uh, on iron sheet, manufacturers can provide you with the uh, a length of your preference they, they can give you a length of five meters six meters 12 meters 15 meters according to your request if you've placed an order of quite a number of sheets and you 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 intend i mean you'll be given preference and the the the, the lengths will be cut in accordance to your request now I want to, this is the profile that I'll be importing to Tecla Structures profile catalog and I'll use this to do my roofing. For now, I'll close, I'll just delete all these dimensions. I delete all these dimensions. Now, please note the, uh, the name of my profile is Iron Sheet here. Now, this is the file that I'll follow. Uh, I'll, I'll take the route that I'll be given from Tecla Structure and uh, this will be in my end destination. Now I'll delete all these dimensions. We are there now. Now I'll switch back to Tecla structure right there. Now inside Tecla structure, this is what, or this is this is the shade or uh, uh, a model that uh, I'll be using. The same thing profile that will import into Tecla structure prof uh, profile catalog, and we'll use the same same sheet to do our roofing here now to do that just go straight away to uh, file file radio button here and click on that then come to catalogs here click on catalogs then uh, after clicking on catalogs click on define profiles here click on define profiles then the moment you've clicked on define prof profiles you'll be given all these options let's go we'll, we'll then uh, just go straight away and click on define cross section using dwg file we'll click on that then the moment you click on that uh, we'll have this dialog box dwg profile to library numerically known six now we have three tabs here we have picture and we have par uh, parameters and uh, profile attributes now we'll work with at the moment we'll work with parameters under parameters here I'll go straight away under parameters here we have input file section name profile name save to we'll save it into into model directory don't change this now under input file this is where we'll click on uh, on this radio button and we'll get we'll get to the route we'll find a route that will take us to the the place where we saved our file we've saved our file on desktop now I'll go straight away and click on this radio button under input file right there. Then uh, I'll I'll, uh, I'll click on desktop. This is where my uh, my file is. Then uh, I'll scroll down to my file. Remember I named it Iron Sheet. Just scroll down, just down. I've seen it somewhere here. This is the file I'm targeting. I'll click on that then uh, i'll click ok once you're done with that i'll just go straight here and type iron sheet iron sheet i'll press caps i'll, I'll click iron sheet 
iron sheet I'll, I'll type on sheet there and I'll give a space right there then I want to let me just write it appropriately I'll space that I'll highlight all these right click and come to copy and I'll paste this one here I'll paste it right there then uh, under profile name, this is the name that will appear under profile catalog in uh, Tecla structures. Now, once you've done this and you've named all this, just go straight away and click apply and uh, give an OK there by clicking OK. The moment you click right there, you will see uh, at the bottom end here, look, the program is uh, requesting you to pick your position. Now, I want to pick my position to start uh, I mean from this end I want to start this end from this end to run all the way to to my Eve right here and I'll snap right here I'll snap right there and I'll wait for it to load then we'll manipulate it further I'll position it it is right there it has been loaded there we are. I'll right click and come to interrupt right here. Then uh, I'll zoom out. And if you take a look, it's slightly off, off top of our palings. Now what we'll do here, I'll just double click here. I'll double click on the sheet. Then come to, then come to uh, uh, beam properties or steel beam properties. Inside here. I'll come to, I want to reposition this to sit right on top of my palings. Now I'll come to middle under positions here, I'll click front. Under front and click modify, it will offset itself up. I'll come back again under positions and uh, I'll go straight to plane right there and uh, give it an, a left offset right there. I'll take it on the left right there I'll close that once again now what I want to do I want to mirror this the other end but prior to mirroring all this to this end I want to adjust this length slightly by 200 millimeter I'll just go back again and double click on that sheet I've just created and uh, come to that radio button I'll, you can see the profile name I was, I was showing you iron sheet No, that is not the right way. I'll close this. I want to, I want to extend uh, this length by 200 millimeter. What I'll do, I'll come to end offset and uh, I'll type my 200 right there. I'll prefix it with a negative. I'll click modify. It has adjusted itself. Now I'll do the same thing at the bottom end here. I want a slight overlap of the eave. Now I'll double click right here, then come all the way, I'll change the, I'll come all the way right here, and uh, I want a slight increase in length by uh, uh, by 100 millimeter, I'll click on that. There we are, it has adjusted itself. Now our next move is just to mirror this on the other end. To do that, and be sure of what we are doing, I'll reorient my XYZ axis i'll come to view and uh, come to work plane tool here and our work plane tool i'll place my my plane here i just click there i want to place place my plane right there i right click and uh, interrupt just to exit from that work plane tool then uh, i'll right click once again and go to special special copy and click uh, mirror i want to mirror this and uh, pick this point as my mirror line right here I'll snap right the bottom of the end, end there and I'll go straight and click this copy there we are I'll right click and interrupt just to exit from that you can see this what we've created this is the own sheet this profile we've created right from the AutoCAD and uh, we've imported it into Tecla structures profile catalog and I want to populate this to a length of 60 meters and once I'm done, the, I've done that. I'll show. I'll follow this profile into Tecla Structures catalog, and you'll see how it, where it is positioned under profile catalog. Now, I'll I'll press Control and and click on the other end, 
and I'll right click and come to spatial copy here and click linear. Now prior to populating this along my length, I'll check where how um, I mean how my XYZ axis is, has positioned itself. I can see it here. Uh, uh, Z axis is actually facing facing me and uh, the Y axis facing that direction. Now I'll come under Z axis and I'll feed a negative sign and prior to uh, clicking on OK I'll check the length that I'll be using to populate this to a full length of 60 meter. I'll close this for now and right click and exit by clicking interrupt. I'll click on empty screen just, in empty screen just to deselect everything I, I have selected. Now I want to measure this end to the other end. I'll come to edit. Under edit I'll click measure. Under, uh, under measure I'll click distance. Then I want to snap on that spot. Then come all the way, come all the way to this end. Then come all the way to this end. I'll click on that spot. You can see here it is 21.33, 21.33 millimeter. Now we'll use this dimension as an interval dimension that will help us populate this iron sheet to the full length of our roof. Now please note it is 21.33. I'll right click and exit. Now I'll come here and select all this and select that. I'll right click and come to special copy here and click linear. Now I'll use that 1121.33, 1121.33 as my uh, length. But it, we are moving on op in, uh, I mean, on opposite direction in accordance to how our X, Y, Z axis has been placed. I'll prefix that with a negative sign. Now, how many do we want? How many iron sheet we want? We want, we want 53 of this. Now, I'll go ahead and click OK or copy and wait for it to populate itself. I'll go straight away and I give an OK he here, assuming it has copied to the the full length I am targeting. Now you can see this already copied up to this length. I can press control and uh, while pressing my left uh, my mid button on my mouse and you can see this has been has been already placed to a full length. All our iron sheets has be, have been populated to uh, a 60 meter length of our of our structure. Now, if I press Control P, so that we see the uh, the plan, how the plan is, uh, you can see here. This is the plan, and this is how you can see the iron sheet have, has been laid on top of the roof. This is how it it looks like. Now, if I switch back to my isometric view by pressing Control P will uh, go straight and uh, have a look at this. I'll press control and turn this round. This is how it looks. This is how it looks now. Now let me take you to the uh, to, to to the location where the profile we, we've just imported or in, in included included in our profile catalog in tackle structure where it is located. I'll double click here. Then uh, I'll come to under general, you see the name DWG profile and the profile name is Iron Sheet. I'll click on this radio button just next to it and this will take us to to the, the uh, catalog profile catalog box already. It has been already included in Tecla structure. Now it is there for use. I'll scroll down and come to others here. And others, you'll be able to see the iron sheet right here, already included. Here it is. Now it is it's under my catalog profile. So whenever I want to use it, I'll just come here straight away and use it right away. There it is. And I'll close that. And I'll close this also. Now, let me just turn this so, so that you can see it clearly. You can see the bottom end here. You can see every part here. 
so it's lay, it, it has been laid properly so at, the, at that point we'll wind up at that spot and uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel once again i'm Maurice dimba and uh, let's meet on the next presentation and bye bye let's meet there